I want to bring in Brian Claypool now, criminal defense attorney. And Brian, good morning to you. Just listening to that report, I mean, what would you do as an attorney to help this man? Well, first of all, Bill, thanks for having me. This is absolutely pathetic. I mean, did you see that that response the DA Bragg's office gave? Hey, we're continuing to look at the evidence. Really? Well, why did you arrest Alba? Why didn't you do your investigation first? Look at the video. Why, why is he under arrest? This hasn't even been presented to a grand jury yet, Bill. That's happening on Saturday. Why is he under arrest? This is flat out self-defense. I just looked it up on my phone. It's called justification in New York, where if you feel like your life is imminently a threat, you can use force to protect yourself. Here, it's deadly force. What's he supposed to do? Sit there and wait for this guy to pull a weapon on him? The girlfriend's already pulled out a gun. It's absolutely pathetic. It's these left-wing radical DAs like Bragg in, in, in your city, Gascon in our city. They just removed a DA bill in San Francisco because of these radical progressive policies. Brian, he's being held on Rikers Island. If, if our viewers are unaware, that, that, that's a tough prison, uh, right out by LaGuardia, uh, the airport. He's being held on $250,000 bond. Uh, he's been in the country about 30 years, came from the DR. Um, and here you have a DA who has allowed criminals within 24 hours to walk on less. Yeah, exactly. What's what's up with that? You let career criminals get out on five dollars bail, yet you let this hard that yet you so hit a, hit a bail of two hundred fifty k for a thirty year hardworking man in the community who's just sitting, by the way, on his own property trying to run a business. It's not like he went out and tried to instigate a fight in the middle of the, the street. I mean, I, I'm telling you, Bill, this this is an epidemic with these radical cities. Did you know in L.A. two weeks ago, two police officers were murdered by a career criminal who was arrested in March of 2020 because our radical D.A., Gascon, let this guy out on the street. He dropped two charges. He should have been in jail for three years. Two cops are dead there because they let him out 20 days serving jail. I mean, it has to end. People in your city, our city, why, by the way, why would anybody want to move from Florida to L.A., yeah. given what's happening here as well? We cannot, human beings like Alba and people across this country cannot be used as guinea pigs in these radical social experiments that are being invoked by these DAs mm -hmm. like Bragg, Gascon, and they kicked out the DA in San Francisco as well. Well, what doesn't make sense is why you, 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 this guy's a 37-year-old ex-con who attacked him. He was in jail, I think, about 18 months ago, maybe sooner than that. Why have sympathy for him? It just doesn't make sense to a lot of people, including yourself. Uh, and that's why we brought you on here today. Uh, look, look if, if he's still looking at the evidence and still looking at the investigation, uh, maybe he changes his mind on this. But the New York Post characterizes it this way. Self-defense isn't a crime. It's time for Manhattan to ditch DA Alvin Bragg. Don't know if that's going to happen. It writes this. What Alvin Bragg is practicing is injustice. It's madness. Police are villains. Criminals are heroes. And victims are told to accept their fate. Jose Alba needs to be free. Alvin Bragg needs to be out of office. Brian, I don't know if that last part's going to happen. Last comment from you on this case. Yeah, well... Because of spineless DAs like Bragg in Manhattan, people are at risk. You're living in a dangerous city now. Why? Because there are no consequences for criminal actions. And that gives a hall pass to criminals like this to walk into a store, pull out knives, and, 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 then, and then the DA points the finger at the innocent party. We live in a dangerous society because of these radical DAs. They need to be kicked out of office. Well, initially, the, the bail was set at half a million dollars. Oh. Uh, it's been cut in half. There was a GoFundMe page that was put online that raised about 20 grand. Uh, for some reason, apparently now, that GoFundMe page is not up or active. Why? Cannot say. Uh, Brian, we're going to watch it, and we'll see where it leads. Brian Claypool, thank you for your time today. Yeah, thanks, Bill.